Okay, some of you asked for an example of how to do the paste, and I'm getting ready to work on these ornaments that I've put uh, some gems on. These are just, they come on a card. You stick them on. Let me show you one of them. And I bought these years ago, okay? Um, at Hobby Lobby, Michael's one of those. But they're on a sticky backing, and so I've cut them up and been able to get as many as four ornaments out of some of these. Okay, you don't have to do that. Um, it's just to kind of dress it up. So then I've taken a piece of chalk and I drew on the ornament. This is a matte finish, so I'm able to do that really well. On the shinier surfaces, it doesn't uh, do as well. Okay, so we're using the low fire, no fire piping paste. So in 24 hours, this will be hard as a brick on this non-fired surface. This is just one of your regular Christmas ornaments that you buy it uh, anywhere. Okay. And then I'm using uh, the glass medium. And I've got the glass medium in two of my wells. So I've got some clean and a dirty. And I'm going to go ahead and do a fresh one because I've been using these. Um, I like to coat my brush with the medium and then just kind of blot or even pinch it just so I have a flat edge on it, okay? I've put my piping paste from the four ounce jar into our piping bottles, and then I've got the pink tip on it. I like that size for what I uh, am doing. This is a damp paper towel that I constantly keep that in, keeps that moist so it doesn't dry out, okay? You should always work from the background forward. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put in a center vein and then I'm gonna start here and come up one side tuck that in your paper towel and on the flat side I'm just gonna kind of wisp a little bit of a push and wisp and then I'm gonna wipe that out on a paper towel get me a little bit more medium the medium basically since it is a no fire what that's gonna do is uh, protect your brush so that it doesn't harden in there. And I'm not going all the way down where you see the lines drawn. That's more of a guide to keep me in the right spot. Because you're going to be pulling those strokes and you don't need to have them all the way down. Again, rinse, blot. And if you blot it on your paper towel, you can almost get that edge or you can take your finger in and do that to flatten it out. I've got a little cup here so that when I do a little bit I can set it down to dry before I can do the other side. Okay, I'll try to keep this in camera view. Center vein. I'm going to go ahead and do both sides of this. Put that back in your damp paper towel. Push, push, and that just gives it a little bit more texture. Turn your piece so that you can work, and you've got a nice little leaf. Wipe out the excess. Clean your brush if you've got a lot of the paste on there. If you don't, keep going. Sometimes you can do two or three and not have to clean. The main thing here on this round surface is keeping my fingers out of it. And the chalk that I drew on there, I can just take a damp brush and I'll be able to get that off where it doesn't, the paste doesn't cover that up. Okay, so carefully I'm turning. Now I don't like how that one did. So I'm actually gonna put a little bit more back on there. We have two different size bottles. We have um, a half ounce bottle also. The one ounce is what I prefer, which is what I'm using. So if your hand is smaller or for whatever reason you like that other size, it can be done with either one. As long as you get the job done, that's all you're looking for. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry so I can set it there. And I'll grab another one. This is a, a gold one. And again, it's a matte finish. So I'm going to create a little bit, a center vein. This is what I'm considering my stem off of that leaf. I'm 
it's a little bit different surface than uh, the ceramics that I work on or the glass and of course it's round too so that makes a huge difference so make sure you have some to practice with and again I'm just gently pushing just to give it a little more irregular edge or a textured look rinse blot see how I did that just kind of wiping so that I get a nice flat edge on that brush and I'm using a uh, sable brush it's an inexpensive and I believe we have some of those on sale like a size 4 out there on the website right now so this would be a good because if you leave the paste in there um, it's gonna harden it's gonna ruin your brush so don't use your best brush for that just get you an inexpensive one okay wipe off the excess clean pinch out because you want to pinch out some of that excess you don't want all of that in there I'm gonna add just a little bit more and be careful when you're pushing in on this and you stick it into a damp paper towel if you haven't released the pressure it will actually pull up the water that's in that paper towel so keep that in mind okay let's see which one I can work on I'm gonna turn it this way and do this leaf so it's going to be coming from this flower and you want the um, the line that you're squeezing out to be fairly heavy because you're going to be pulling it with the brush so you don't want to uh, have it too thin too light and of course this could be done on any surface um, I'm just doing these because I need some ornaments for a party okay wipe clean it out and then we would set this one to dry um, or we can go to this petal because it doesn't interfere with anything so we can do one or two of the petals okay so I'm not going to go all the way down and you can just create your own wavy edge always keep that uh, tip in a damp paper towel and then you're just going to catch the edge okay wipe out the excess clean if you need to I think I can turn this and do one more like I said the chalk um, you just need something that's removable what I've uh, sketched on um, if you're really good you can just wing it and do it I like to visually have a pattern so that I stay within my area that I need to be okay and let's see if we can do another one then I'll have to let it dry I'll end up sticking my finger in it okay so push and you can bring the one that comes down that side is going to finish the edge of that area whether it's a leaf a petal whatever it may be okay all right so this one's got to dry we will set it there where nothing disturbs it but you can see the leaves you could even um, if you're uh, if you have acrylics you can also come back in and do some washes with some acrylics on there as long as you've tested the product and it stays on there of course your other fired products are not going to um, you, this is a low fire no fire that's either fired to a full fuse or as low as 1380 but um, this it will cure within 24 hours and it'll be hard as a brick so that's why I'm using it on these ornaments and I know there's other people out there that have done different ornaments and different things uh, normally I do it on the glass but I thought I'd try this okay all right and all of these products again can be found on our website colorsforearth.com and you can make dots 
uh, let me see if I've got, here's just a little piece of just glass. So the centers of the flowers, what I'll end up doing is coming in and doing a wavy line, or I may add some additional dots, and that would be what my center would look like. Or you can come in and uh, maybe squeeze out some excess and pull in and create some little stamens. That also works too. Okay. Thank you.